Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's set up the Zoller M98. This is a half horsepower pump. Zoller makes these pumps in Louisville, Kentucky. And this is probably the pump of my choice for every situation that I've ever come across. And it's very easy to set up. They now carry this at Lowe's, and it's the exact same pumps that I get from the supplier, so you can easily pick one of these pumps up, and here's how you set it up. So we're using a Zoller, a Zoller M98. It comes with a three-year warranty. This is a half horsepower pump. Pushes about 60, 70, 80 gallons a minute. We're pushing it pretty far. Um, that's called the head, how far you the, we're lifting water and how far we push it out. We call that the head of water. But it'll easily keep up with what's going on here in the backyard. So let's go ahead and set that pump up. Okay, let's set up the Zoller M98. Let me show you everything that we need to do, all of this stuff. It's nice if you have, you know, a handy dandy black and decker. <laughs> Two inch hole saw, four inch hole saw. You'll need some PVC cement. You're going to need your check bow, and I'll show you that in a second. You need a 3 16 inch drill bit. Um, it's nice if you have a 5 16 inch nut driver, hacksaw, and pipe. So what we're going to do is start with a male threaded inch and a half adapter. Screws right into a port. There's actually screws in here, if you can see them. There's screws right there, or threads. And we're going to go ahead and screw this in just as tight as our hands can make it. <clears throat> Next, I cut a small riser. This is our piece that comes here, and all we're doing is getting above the bar so that we can install a check valve. And a check valve only allows water to flow one direction, only one way that water can flow. A check valve only allows water to flow one direction. And you can see the arrows that kind of help you determine which way that flows. We'll need that to go on top of the small riser, okay? So let's glue up that much first. I'm using an OD product. This is an all-in-one. It has a primer built into it. We're going to glue up both pieces, our riser and inside the fitting. Push and hold, only for a second, and now it's tight. I mean, that's, you can see me lifting up the pump. It welds right away. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna put our check valve on. Remember, we wanna make sure that the arrows are pointing up. <clears throat> this is held together with black rubber no hubs and stainless steel clamps, real simple. Use your five 16 inch nut driver and tighten that up just as tight as you can make it. Perfect. I've already tightened up the two center clamps. <clears throat> and then when we go over to the sump basin, <clears throat> we'll have another riser that comes up out of the top. And it's going to turn with a 90 and discharge. And that's going to send it out to the front walk. Finally, remember I said you need a 3 16 inch drill. What we're going to do is drill a hole right here. This hole is a pressure relief so that nothing can get airlocked. Remember, we've got a check valve. We don't want it to get airlocked, otherwise it won't pull up any water. So we're ready to go ahead and set the basin, the pump, and install the whole, the whole system all at once. Okay, let's set up the sump basin. This is the most versatile sump basin on the market. There are so many ways to set this basin up, and it's readily available at Ace, Home Depot, Lowe's, Plumbing Supplies, you can pick one of these up in a matter of minutes. Okay, so now it's time to set up our sump basin. I've already made the measurements for our inlet lines. We've got a line that comes in this side, and we have another line that comes in on this side. We're gonna use a four inch hole saw and drill the four inch hole for the inlet. <laughs> This is one side, and then we're going to take the hacksaw and cut off this nipple because that's the level that we want to we want to be at right there. And 
and that sets up the sump basin that quick. Um, we do have one more hole to drill, and it's going to be for our discharge. <clears throat> it's going to be for the inch and a half discharge. <laughs> it's going to be for the inch and a half discharge, and it's actually going to come out right above this inlet. So let's go ahead and drill that hole. This is a two inch hole saw. This is the exact outer diameter of inch and a half pipe. So our, pipe, our pump, our, <laughs> our pit sets up where we have an inlet line coming in. This is coming from that catch basin I showed you. This line is coming from a downspout and from two micro channel drains. That's gonna come into this side a little bit deeper because of the, the catch basins where we're setting them. They're deeper than you know the other ones that we're installing. So you can, you can adjust your basin any size you want. Let's go ahead and set up the sump pump. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.